CBS the Bold and the Beautiful revealed that Sheila's currently in a very difficult situation. Police discovered Sheila's still alive. They're sending a lot of forces to track down Sheila's whereabouts. Besides, people who have a grudge against Sheila are also rushing to find her. Sheila can't stay at Deacon's house because the police are watching him. She really didn't know where to go so she wouldn't be found. Then suddenly Sheila thought that the most dangerous place was the safest place. Sheila had a grudge against many members of the Forrester family. She decided to break into it and stay for a while. For Sheila, the most dangerous place is the safest place. Sheila was Eric's wife for a while. She also lived in the Forrester mansion, so she knew the terrain very well. This is a large villa with many nooks and crannies. Sheila will find the safest place and hide there. Not everyone would think that Sheila dared to come and hide here. Because this is too risky, as long as someone finds Sheila, she can easily be grabbed and handed over to the police station. But this is at least better than Sheila hiding in the woods. There are a lot of bears in the forest, and maybe this time Sheila really will be torn apart by them, not like the place she was trying to make up. Even if it was to run away, Sheila wanted to choose a safer option. However, Sheila will probably be caught by Eric. No matter how knowledgeable Sheila was in the Forester mansion's terrain, she couldn't match Eric. He's been the owner of the Forrester family for many years. All the nooks and crannies of the villa, Eric knew best. Sheila has underestimated the owner of the mansion. Eric has a feeling that someone has broken into his house. Sheila's finally caught by Eric. She begs Eric to spare her, but Eric will, of course, call the police. Sheila is a dangerous criminal, so she has to be detained. Sheila has no choice but to kill Eric and run away. She couldn't go back to the dark prison and bury the rest of her life in it. Ridge, Steffi, and everyone else are heartbroken. Over Eric's death, he is the soul of the Forrester family. Thanks to Eric, the family has a prosperous day like today. He lives always caring and caring for his family members. It can be seen that Eric's role is really important to the family. But Eric died unjustly in his own house. Everyone knows that Sheila's the culprit, so they're determined to find her to avenge Eric. Quinn, who is in New York, soon received the news that Eric had passed away. She's returned to Los Angeles to offer condolences over the news. Even though Quinn and Eric were divorced, she was still quite shocked when she realized that Eric was no longer in this world. That is really unfortunate.